Greg, I've always seen you wrestle. You know, I saw you win the three national titles. I know you're a freak athlete, but you just told me something that kind of kind of took me back a little bit. How freak of an athlete are you? <laughs> uh, as you, was, you and I were talking, um, I don't know. I, you know, I'm kind of kind of uncomfortable, you know, talking talking about myself. But um, uh, when, whenever I graduated here, there were so, you know a lot of opportunities that, that opened up for me. Um, Obviously, this job was one of them. Um, our assistant coach at the time, Zeke Jones, had uh, put an offer on the table for me to go to University of Pennsylvania with him. Um, obviously, the um, the freestyle circuit was uh, was an option for me as well. Um, but it was I was uh, I got a call from a high school athletic director. Um, <clears throat> he called me and said, "Greg, I." Uh, I just talked to Kevin Colbert, who was the director of player personnel for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He said, I told him he played football in high school, and I talked about your wrestling career. And he said, uh, they're going to be down at WVU on Tuesday. Um, stop by and talk to him. He wants to talk to you about the possibility of, uh, of uh, doing a workout. So I said, okay. And I, went, I stopped over um, and met with the guy. He said that, uh, you know, we talked, just talked briefly, and said that we'll be in contact with you. And about a week later, they, you know, kept it the word. They, uh, they called me up. I was like, oh, cool. So, and actually, they wanted to work me out, kind of back in my hometown where their training camp is. Is the town over from from uh, Greensburg, where I, where I grew up at? Um, so I went up there. It was uh, myself, my strength coach went up with me, and um, uh, two or two or three different scouts were there, and I did the whole kind of private workout NFL combine uh, stuff with them. And you know, it was cool. It was a, it was a good experience, and. Uh, and uh, at the time, I ran, I ran a 40-yard dash as one of my workouts. How fast? And uh, ran a 4.45. You ran a 4.45 40? Um, but whenever, the, the, the thing was that, that I, um, I had a sports hernia whenever I went up there and worked out. Um, and I had told them that, but they didn't really scare them. Um, and about a couple weeks later, I ended up getting my sports hernia. I got operated on. Um, but after that workout, I left, and they said, you know, here's what we're going to do. He's like, we liked what we saw. Um, we'll give you a call uh, whenever training camp starts. Um, we'll bring you in, work you out the day before training camp more extensively. And if we like what we see, um, then we'll keep you on for training camp. Uh, so I was like, cool. You know, they they handled everything in the first class. Everything they said they would, were going to do, they did. Um, <clears throat> so uh, it was funny because on draft day, I wake up and I, I get on the NFL.com and you know they put me. I was in the NFL draft. Which I, thought, which I thought was kind of cool, and I got a, actually got a phone call on day two of the draft from a number I didn't know, and I picked it up all excited, and it was just one of my friends. <laughs> but but it was a cool experience, and and then in January, on my first season coaching here, they actually followed up again. They said, "Greg, this is uh, uh, I forget what the guy's name was, with the Pittsburgh Steelers, um, you know, uh, wanted to call you up. We want to send you over to NFL Europe for a season and see how you develop." I was in the middle of wrestling season. Obviously, you know, I'm a wrestling guy. I'm a wrestler. That's what I am. So uh, I didn't go over. He said, told me to call him if I ever changed my mind. And that's kind of where it's been. So you actually turned it down when the opportunity did arise I to go be developmental? You know, you know, it was a cool experience. I don't know what the likelihood of actually making the NFL roster was. Um, I thought it was a little bit of a risky venture. The NFL life, you know, nothing really guaranteed. Um, but the the NFL NFL Europe would probably be something good that would have been a good experience to try and figure out, you know how how realistic it was. Um, but I couldn't I couldn't bail out in the middle of wrestling season. What do they want you? Uh, what position? Uh, defensive back. Defensive back. Yeah, probably something like a safety. Um, you know, n maybe not as much to learn at safety as out on the island at corner. You know. Or even like put you uh, as I like run a off on kickoff team and then double leg someone. I there you know. go. I know you can double leg someone. Yeah, so. They wouldn't even see it coming. Yeah. You can do it from like five yards away like you did in the NCAs. Right. All right, Greg. That was interesting, man. But uh, do you think uh, we will see you back? I asked you today. What's the likelihood of seeing you at 84 kilos? You know, I I, I don't think it's very likely. Um, you know, I guess it's like any competitor, um, whether it be wrestling, football, baseball, whatever, basketball. You know, it's it's tough to say. It's tough to close that door completely and say absolutely not. Um, but it's not it's not very likely. Um, you know, I do I do miss competing. I do miss the thrill of competition. Um, you know, but this is um, you know I, I've in, I'm, in, I'm immersed myself in this program. You know, so much that um, you know there's a lot of different time management and a lot of commitment things involved with that. Um, do I have the itch to compete? Absolutely. Um, will I compete again? Um, 
Not likely, but not completely out of the question.